Hello everyone, my name is Niestro, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. Uh, this time around we're going to be playing some single player. I don't know how many of you are actually into that, but I know that um, I am, especially with the uh, multiplayer series uh, just starting up, so hopefully this will be just as good. And we actually have ourselves a world with some granite rock, so that's going to be awesome. Um, so at, le at least for the first um, bit here, basically all I'm going to be doing is running around collecting rocks, sticks, making an axe, all the all the boring stuff that everyone does at the beginning of TFC and really any Minecraft video ever. So maybe um, I'll just talk about some stuff real quick and then I will jump to the chase, as it were. Okay, so um, hopefully this video is being uploaded um, at least within a decent span, maybe on the same day, maybe within one day of the first episode of the TFC SMP series that I'm starting with Dunk and Dara. Um, so two players, two players, you still get a lot of um, individual stuff going on regardless. Three players, it's a much, much more group um, style thing. And I, I kind of miss this style of um, recording where I can go do my own thing and then um, uh, cut out the boring bits and have everything pre-planned and so I think I think that's that's um, the main reason why this is becoming a thing once more um, maybe if I get a really negative response I'll stop doing this and I'll just keep up with the SMP series but as far as I see it'll probably just be um, both ongoing as it was at least at the start and sort of middle point of my channel so yeah, that's that out of the way. Um, I will hopefully still be playing Terraria, and FTB is on the back burner right now because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Because FTB just released a new, um, a new mod pack that replaced as the default FTB pack like by the creators. It's called like FTB Unleashed or something. You know, you guys know that we play on Ultimate, which is different. Oh, that's good. Bismuth Knight. That's kind of. This is kind of following the same. Um, path of metals as we did on the on the SMP series so definitely go check that out if you guys haven't um, I'm sure it'll be a related video or something and if not you guys can just click on the channel wow already three so yeah that's awesome but um, yeah I'm gonna make uh, maybe I'll make a knife on camera and then there we go there's our knife and then I'll demonstrate and the other thing, um, single player is a lot better for demonstrating features. Like I can explain things much more well articulated and stuff like that. So this is straw that you can get, and then you can craft it into thatch, which is a floating building block, which is kind of rare in TFC. Okay, but anyways, this first day I'm going to be spending getting a lot of straw, a lot of wood, and a lot of rocks and sticks, and hopefully some metal. So I will see you guys um, whenever uh, I get like my building going, or you know, you guys know how this works by now. Oh, and uh, just as I'm starting to do things, um, another couple things I forgot to mention. I'm actually on build 0.773, um, and I found a pig. And finding food the first day is actually pretty important. You won't starve until like at least um, like the second night or so. But it looks like we had a male and a female. That kind of makes me feel bad about killing one, so I don't think I actually will. Maybe there'll be some more on top of the hill, but other than that, um, I just wanted to say... Um, I'll be trying to get a world download thing happening, but I'm not sure if I will be able to. That is an actual awesome house building space. I think I'm going to follow through with that. I did actually mark um, the bismuth the night over there because I did get six. like, And I only got I only did like that much rock. And actually, that's a pretty awesome yield if you like, like look at it. But anyways, I'm going to try and find some food and like build a shelter and crap. Um, oh, I also wanted to mention, uh, I'm sorry if I sound quiet, um, a lot of my family is asleep, and uh, I'm trying to be a little less noisy than I am on the normal days where it's SMP and, and everyone is incredibly loud and I try to talk over, but anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know how this whole dealio goes. Fruit tree! I think that's actually a banana tree. But anyway, yeah, we're going to start building our house now. So we're going to take all the thatch we've, which we've built up, which is about enough for a stack of thatch. Okay, there we go, a little bit extra. 
and then we're gonna come over here this looks like as good a spot as any start building and we're gonna get, get this done real quick because believe me um, things start spawning real quick in TFC and things are not happy when things are spawning the world just seems to go crazy and everything just tries to kill you so it's really just a good idea to get everything nice and situated um, even a too high wall isn't going to be that awesome because spiders will be able to climb over it but hopefully that won't be too big a deal for us I'm going to take the risk to take the time and make a shovel hopefully I don't get killed while I'm doing this awesome I really just want to be inside before anything has even the thought to attack me it's very important to there we go we actually have enough awesome um, I'm gonna keep this amount of thatch on me I have a bunch of sticks okay I think we're good last thing I'm gonna do is actually dig this out of it make it a little bit harder for anything to get in and then I'm actually gonna jump out like an idiot because I don't like wasting blocks and hop back in or fail to hop back in there we go I can't actually sprint right now because I'm thirsty thirst will not kill you only make you really uncomfortable all the time <laughs> so uh, now what we're gonna do is realize that we forgot to get clay which is unfortunate I don't think I actually did see any around here though so might not be my fault okay and now it's raining um, I'm just gonna do a couple things really quick so you guys don't have to deal with the rain make a fire starter throw three sticks on the ground and do the obvious clicky clicky make the fire happen um, I need to put a solid block up here there we go that should work good protect it from the rain and I think the next thing we're gonna do is start making some torches which is awesome and I think I'm gonna skip to the morning so you guys don't have to deal with this terrifying, awful, disgusting rain. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so just as a heads up, um, it is actually daytime. During the middle of the night a spider climbed in and I had to go swim out to the ocean and kill it. But um, now I killed a, two, a baby and a large zombie which took like five axes and now I'm just waiting for the stupid rain to go away. I mean at least the mobs are despawning. So um, yeah I'll wait it out and I'll get back to you guys. Well, it looks like right nearby we had some green bean plants. I accidentally broke one, and I, this is the same thing, so we're just going to grab that. That should be a good uh, thing to start making meals with. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to wait out this rain and just showing you guys random clips if good things happen, because rain irritates me a lot, so I'm just going to wait. See you guys in a bit, or until something else interesting happens. Wow. It's like... Silence. It's incredible. <laughs> um, so, oh, there might have another one. The rain just stopped. That's it's amazing how great that feeling is. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some fruit saplings, or fail at it because I forget how to do it. I thought that was how you did it, but I guess not. Um, I'll try one more time. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to do that again anymore. I know that's how you used to do it. But uh, we're going to get a drink. And we're actually going to do something pretty awesome. We're going to replace the thatch walls. No, we're not, because we don't have enough rock. Dang it. But we are going to build up. We are going to make a roof this time. Which is going to be awesome. So, in case you're wondering why I'm standing here and not over in the house building things, it's because I'm drinking simultaneously. <laughs> Delicious water. Um, also, if you didn't notice, I have 11 Cassiterite and 6 Bismuthinite. And I don't think either of these things can actually be used to make tools without alloys. So, yeah, that sucks. But it's alright. We just need to find ourselves some copper. Okay, now we need to do something like this. Saving thatch, as always always good oh and I should probably run around and try and light up some surrounding area I'm gonna leave this open 
And this, I guess. And we're going to run around with torches real quick. Awesome. So this should help a lot as far as keeping the area safe. There may still be the occasional mob spawner, but it won't be like last night. And last night was not fun, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, I think we're actually enough to make the floor into um, stuff, but I still haven't found any clay, which might be problematic. Hmm. We're getting some seeds, though. Um, we have some wood. We can make stuff. <sighs> Contemplating what to do at this point. Hmm. Could try and go kill some calamari tonight. I don't know. I'll think on it, and um, if nothing happens, we'll just skip to the morning and go look for clay. Okay, so it's almost morning, and I thought I'd do one more interesting thing. So we're going to go ahead and make a javelin hen, which is something new for me. I've never actually had to do that before, but yeah, there we go. Now we have a javelin. How sweet is that? It's actually not that sweet, because it's a huge pain in the butt to make it now, but, you know, things, they happen. So, um, yeah, I think we're actually going to go kill at least one animal probably that male pig over there because there's already a male pig over there and you really don't need more than one so I think we're gonna waltz on over here and kill this male pig that is if he's up for it yeah because we need more um we need some food going on so this pig has to die and he dropped 11 pork some bones and some rawhide so I think we will actually take advantage of this and go cook that up um, I'm actually thirsty too, so I guess we would probably do that. It's so it's such a shame because you have to spend a lot of your day just sitting in a pool of water drinking. There's really not that much that you can do while that's happening. Let's toss a log in here, and no, that's not a log. <laughs> Why do ores in TFC look like turds? Somebody answer this, please. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um. But, um, yeah, so we're going to heat this up. Uh, maybe we should make some bowls. Yeah, let's make a bowl. So to make a bowl, you go like this. You get four of them. Then if you go over to a stone surface with said bowl, we're going to go over here because it seems convenient, even though it's probably not. There you go. And if you right click with a knife while you also have bowls, it'll make yourself a meal table, which you can then put a bunch of food in there, and it'll make things happen. So that's what we're going to try and do, except it's probably not going to be that great of one, because we're basically putting in green beans and pork chops and calling it a meal. Um, the maximum is four, and that usually gives me better results. I don't actually know the code behind it, though. Huh, I don't think I can actually do it with that. That's weird. Strange. Usually it lets you with that stuff. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to have to eat the pork chop then, I guess. Pork chop. Pork chop's pretty good in itself, but sometimes meals can fill up your entire bar in like one little thing, so that's pretty awesome in itself. I guess we'll go drink too while we're at it, um, and then we'll head off and try and find some clay. Um, I think it's called golden rod or something. That that's um, that stuff spawns on top of um, uh, clay, and it shows you exactly where it's gonna be. So, oh boy, we're only gonna have like half a day. Let's make another javelin head while we're waiting. Put one more granite rock. <laughs> da, da, da. It's basically a chip of three out of all out of three corners. There you go. One more javelin to have. Am I full on water yet? Almost. And it's almost noon already. It just sucks. As soon as we get the clay, we won't have to be super slow about it. It'll be pretty quick. 
So, oops. No, come on. You're wasting my time. I just wanted to put one in. Gimme. Okay. Now we have a pork chop to satisfy us. But for now, we're going to run over here, try and start looking for some clay, because we need it desperately. Uh, some random bones. Those are good for dogs, but dogs are kind of useless in TFC, so... Yeah. <laughs> do some uh, world exploring. Got some different types of trees going on. Zombie flesh, also useless except for dogs. Um, there was a different type of biome over here. Oh, oh, oh. We have, we have the golden rod or whatever it's called. So uh, now that I've found this, I'm probably going to spend the rest of the daytime mining up as much clay as I possibly can. Um, it's all of this everywhere this golden rod is spawning. So I will be um I'll I'll be back probably in the house at nightfall. Whew, so that was close. I was actually holding my breath there. I didn't record it, but I almost died getting back inside here. That's why you gotta be so careful. My my health is a sliver right now. Whew. Yeah. But man, look at that haul. So yeah, now I think I'll show you guys the um turn down the sound a little bit and now I'll show you guys the clay napping mechanic which is awesome and fun so this is going to be um, a jug that we're gonna be making here as you can see it's very very similar to um, stone napping we're just gonna throw it on the ground for now because I don't have any inventory space but we will soon enough and then we're gonna make a vessel and then we're gonna make a pick mold which I will explain the use of later. And then probably one more vessel would be good just for extra storage early game. And then what we're gonna do is dig ourselves a little beautiful hole. Um, throw some stuff on the ground that I don't need. And then we can do this and shift right click our items onto the ground here. Okay. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. And then what we're going to do is take some actual straw item, right click it until you can't right click anymore. Cut that out and then you're going to take, um, well I guess in this update you only need one piece of wood but usually you're supposed to need more than that. And then you're going to take some dirt, or that's not dirt, and you're going to light it. And hopefully it'll work. There you go. And hopefully it doesn't catch the thatch on fire, but I'm not actually entirely sure that it won't. So um, as soon as this fire goes out, our items will be ready to use, and I will show you guys what they can do. Um, but while that's going, we're actually going to make another one, just to make them full use of this night. Uh, we're going to make some more stuff, so let's see. What else can we make? We can make some molds. Always useful. Um, next we can make um, another jug because, uh, you know, uh, well maybe you don't, but it's good to have more than one of these things. Um, and maybe a, um, a saw mold would be good. There we go. Awesome. So now we have those four things. Uh, hopefully we can come over here, put them on the ground. Here, pick them up again. There we go. Take some more straw. Fill it up once more. It's the same process. Just right click until you can't anymore. Throw down a log. Close this up with a bit of dirt. And light it on fire. And we have ourselves a pit kiln, which I'm not sure if I actually mentioned, but that's just, that's what this is called. These are called pit kilns. Um, next up, I think we're, we might eat a pork chop. Nah, I think we'll wait until it's until I'm getting the full use out of it. Vessels are basically backpacks, except in pot form, um, and they have four storage slots, just like a chest, except you can carry them around in your inventory. And jugs can hold water and refill your thirst bar um, anywhere, so uh, or at least they fill it slightly. <laughs> I'm um, trying to think of what other clay items we might need. There's a bunch of molds we need, but I don't think I really need to make those right now on camera. Um, trying to think of what else.
else we might want. Hmm. We still haven't found any sheep, but if I wanted to, I could make a a spindle. I don't need that right now, though, so I don't really see the point. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'll see you guys in the morning when all of this stuff is um, done and ready to go. I'll just be cooking meat over the night, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okie dokie, guys. So I'm pretty sure it's morning and one of our things finished. I actually made another with four more vessels in it, um, just because. Uh, and now we're going to try and pick up this stuff. So, oh, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that without breaking that. So, let's just jump down here. Um, we're going to do this. Wait a minute. I want the dirt. 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 Um, okay, wait. Okay, I have, a, I have two vessels, a jug, and a pick mold. Awesome. So I'll show you guys what vessels do right now. Um, if you put them in your... Uh, wait, what am I... Why can't I swap this with this? Okay, it was just lagging. If you right-click this, you get four open spaces, which you can then use to put anything that's not a large item, just like a chest. So... I wonder if I can put another vessel in there, because that would be awesome. No, it doesn't look like you can, but I can put, like, my stack of thatch, some clay, you know, they're basic storage items with four slots, so pretty useful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw some seeds in this one, um, toss it up there, and the other great thing about these is that you can actually put them on the ground, and they retain their inventory, so very useful. Uh, you can actually put all the clay items on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and put my mold over there. Okay, now this one's done. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure, had um, some goodies in it as well. Let's go ahead and jump out. Ow, hit me through a wall, jerk. I need to go drink anyway. But we got two ceramic molds, which we're also going to put on the ground. Those are the same as usual. And we got a saw mold. Now we're going to go out through here and hopefully run, or at least attempt to walk away. I might actually die here. Oh god, there's a creeper over there. Okay, he lost interest. Okay, so what you can do with jugs is right click on water, fill them up, and then when you drink with them they do a substantial amount of water on your thirst bar. And then you can actually use them as a source of of uh, portable water. So, anytime I get thirsty I can use those. Let's see, I think I've gotten a lot done this episode already, I'm pretty satisfied with where we're at. Um, for some reason I can't walk in here, but, you know, crap happens, so, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm sorry, it had to be done. So now we're going to go um, explore, I guess. The only thing that's holding us back right now is our metal count. We really need some copper, and all we keep finding is this silly cassiterite. Oh, I could have sworn that was phalerite originally, but I guess not. More phalerite. Tons of phalerite in this area. I think you, you might be able to make tools out of bismuth, but I just I don't see that as an actual good decision to make whenever copper is supposed to be so good to find. What kind of rock is this? Still granite. I'm gonna say because we're in a different biome now. Or are we? I don't know. Maybe the maybe the dirt's just different. But uh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna check the time on this episode because we might be very far over, and I don't know. But that'd be fine because this is the first episode of the series. Might as well jam some some good content in. So I will be back in a second after I check the length of uh, what recording we have done so far. By the way, this music is funky as heck. Hmm, it's looking like we're at like 24 minutes, so maybe for a little while we'll do some exploring around here, look for some new food sources like we just found. Bunch of female cows it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. You guys just keep doing your thing. I'm going to look for more food. So yeah, we're going to come over here. This is either wheat or barley. Nice. Got some wheat. I think you can chop that up or something and then use it in food, so that's neat. I feel like sugar should be able to be put into... um a meal a meal maker thing 
whatever they're called. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're at like 25 minutes, so we have like five minutes left. I'm getting really tired, though. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, right now it's like almost two in the morning. Uh, the only time I can ever find a record is really late because I'm either working or doing things, um, my social life and stuff. So I guess that's no reason to complain. I could just ignore my life altogether and play video games, but you know, that's just not that's just not good for you. I can't tell if those are flowers. Ooh, there's goodies over here too. Um, but I guess I can start to lay out what next episode will be doing. I really should be checking all these rocks for copper, but I just, I feel like that's boring. Yeah, I'm just getting more bismuth and <laughs> I probably should be like yelling and whooping to the heavens that I'm finding bismuth and I, but I still haven't found a single drop of copper, so wow. All all the all the considerate. Jeez. Yeah, not so useful. Anyways, what is that? Got some barley seeds. Some actual barley. I think that's another food item I'll be able to use. Yes, I realize that that wasn't fully grown. I don't care. I'm not waiting. I'm just going to take it back as seeds and replant it. This is a male pig. I'm murdering it, just so you know. Yep. Male pig has to die. For some reason, my frame rate is just up and down right now. I think it's because it's generating new chunks. Come on, dude. Oh, and it's raining again. Yeah, I think we will be done as soon as I kill this pig. I don't actually know if shovels do any extra damage. Hang on a second, pig. You know what? I think you deserve... I think you're willing. I think you deserve a javelin to the face. Or maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Only six. Lame. But, um... Anyways, this might start spawning mobs like crazy, so... I think we are actually going to end it here. I'm going to take one last look around the surrounding area see if there's anything else for us to explore. It's not looking like... <laughs> God... Ridiculous. Um, yeah, so uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm um, sorry it's a little shorter than a half hour, but I really tried to cut back on the boring stuff and show you all entertainment and new features in this in an actual survival setting. Um, I hope you guys are digging that. That's usually my typical style of playing single player LP. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions for the series, be sure to leave a comment. I thought that was a player somehow in my single player world and I was like, what? Dunk, what are you doing here? <laughs> but uh, anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys like the video and leave a comment if you do. Man, let me tell you, your feedback is what keeps me going on this. So give as much of it as you want. I hate this, I love that, I love your face. Whatever you need to do to get your point across. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I will see you all next time.